Hello Gemini and welcome to your December tarot reading. I'm using my magic soul tarot today for you and I'm going to lay out the Celtic cross. This is a reading for you if your sun, moon, rising and or Venus sign is in Gemini. So also make sure to watch your other signs to get the full picture. Also welcome to all the cross watchers. All right, let's see what are the energies for Gemini what are the energies for Gemini in December Gemini in December Gemini December Prince of Pentacles Ace of Pentacles the just a uh, judgment Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Princess of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Wands and the Three of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, another Pentacle energy the king of pentacles so mainly really we do have pentacles here in your energy outside of you the main energy here and as the underlying baseline so for a lot of you i feel like this is about stability in this month finding maybe a new stability or creating something that gives you long-term stability and i also just heard success now uh, in the past, we also have a pentacle energy, I forgot to say. With the knight of pentacles, you're currently taking action to achieve the long-term goals. And there might be somebody who can help you as an advisor, who might um, be very experienced on uh, in his area of life. It could be something connected to finances or business. There could be a family person who's really experienced in family matters and gives advice connected to the family life. Um, it might even be connected to your home life, uh, but that's basically mainly it. For some of you, since obviously the earth element could refer to the body, there might be an advisor who gives you solutions and directions when it comes to your body. So these are the topics. For some of you, it's the body. For some of you, it's business and finances. And for others, it's going to be home and family, where there is one person who's very experienced and giving you advice and how to move forward in order to build up stability in your life in some shape or form. May that relate to your family or your business. The king of pentacles could also be an underlying energy of yourself. So not always does the king of pentacles need to be somebody on the outside. It could be simply you. If that is the case, that's great because then you are very experienced, take responsibility when it comes to your long term plans and goals uh, connected to business finances or to home family or the body. And you take responsibility here and it feels like you're moving forward. But also I get a sense that you're moving forward quite slowly. So this process of building up this stability in your life, whatever you're doing specifically now in December, it feels like it takes a lot of time. Um, I feel like you might want to secure yourself and make everything really right which is a good thing and sometimes that's exactly what's needed but that also means that the uh, energy is quite slow moving uh, the issue here is the eight of pentacles the energy that i get for you is that there is some sort of potential i feel like you're carrying some sort of potential within yourself may that be for like the body may that be for your business or for your family but it kind of like is difficult to actualize this potential it's like okay how how am i how can i really root and anchor this um and really make it start to grow that's the energy i'm getting here because the ace of pentacles is basically a new beginning uh, something that is already manifesting it's like the seed but what are you doing with the seed when this is in the um, in the blocked position or in the challenge position? It might be that you 
are not quite sure what to do to anchor something now and to make something now more stable, that it has the perfect conditions to grow. Um, that could also lead to the energy being really slow at the moment. Um, sometimes the night could even feel stagnant in a way. The Ace of Pentacles in this position could also mean that at the moment for something new might not be the best condition to start something new. So in that sense, uh, having a bit of a challenge if it is about creating something new in your life. And I feel like you've really been patiently here, like you've, you've, uh, you've been patient and you've waited patiently. The Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles in the past is kind of like waiting for things to grow, waiting for things to develop. Um, maybe, and, and that's really interesting in that sense, because both cards talk about patience, slow move. And it might have seemed or looked like in the past, like nothing is growing. That's with this card not entirely true, because with the seven, you have already done some work. You've put in some work into a situation, into the family and home, into your business and finances or into your body. But I feel like there was a question around that matter in the past. And that question was probably something like, is this going to turn out the way I want it to? Is this uh, going to get into, um, is it going to move into the right direction? Will I be able to harvest the fruits of my hard labor? Is it going to pay off the work or the energy I'm going to put into that? And that's basically a question you ask yourself in the past. And I kind of like feel in a way it is the same right now. Maybe this is why there is the energy of the king, because it almost feels like you feel slightly stuck like things are just not moving as quickly or fast as possible at the moment. And therefore, it might be helpful to get some advice in. Um, emotionally, what's happening for you emotionally? There has been a radical ending or there is a radical ending. Um, it could also mean the end of a difficult phase. But in general, when we look at the Ten of Swords and how the Ten of Swords feel, um, it could mean that you feel drained, that you feel like, I don't have any energy. Uh, the, the, the fights of the past or the conflicts, it feels like I've been in a battle, even with myself or with others or with something in my life. And I'm just tired, I'm exhausted, I'm done. It feels like with something you're really done, um, something that felt like quite a battle for you. So emotionally for December it's going to be at first just at first because we see something really beautifully happening here at first it's going to be emotionally a bit difficult with the ten of swords and maybe that is connected to something ending in your life may that be because you're ending it or maybe because of a natural ending or however that ending is manifesting and in a way what is quite interesting here is that we do see in the past and in the in the present, the main energies, it's about what are you doing? What are you working for? What are you working on uh, in order to build up stability? So that's, that seems to be a main focus at the moment. But at the same time, there's something happening with the Ten of Swords in your emotional side and what you think about with the Judgment card. Why is there a connection? Because the judgment card is in, is almost like you are at a, not at a crossroad. It's more like um, there is a doorway and you're in that doorway and you have left one room and you're about to enter a new one. And in order now to move into new, the new room, you basically need to let go of the old and be okay to let go of that. So there is something where you are in the process where something something is ending, has ended, is about to end and emotionally and what you're focused on, um, that what it tells me that you are very much focused on letting go of something, finding peace, um, releasing a burden from your heart because this is a burden, the Ten of Swords in the emotional side of things feels like a burden. While here you can see the heart and the heart being um, 
weighed against the uh, being put on the scales with the feather and it's about lifting your your heart again so it's not heavy and you lift the burdens basically from your heart whatever that may be so there could be some sort of forgiveness and releasing um, happening where you are consciously focusing on in that moment or in that mo uh, month so that you are able to move on into a new beginning and then we have a really beautiful energy here because I can see that after you've worked through this you could get into the energy of the princess of cups now the princess of cups is an emotionally lighter kite it's like feeling light feeling bubbly being all dreamy um, thinking about your dreams and your visions being maybe in love so emotionally it will very very soon it will get much much more easy there might even be an emotional message coming in for you um, for some of you I get that there is going to be an invitation because we see already where it's going to lead towards so some of you might receive a letter or some sort of message connected to um, a friend or some sort of invitation or some sort of offer being made here so the princess is basically something that could come towards you and it makes you feel happy, light, dreamy. So again, it lifts your spirit here. On the other hand, it could be some sort of emotional new beginning that you are now focusing on your dreams and visions, things that would fulfill you and make your heart happy. So there could be in some shape or form a new beginning where you are thinking about going on that journey on that like metaphorical speaking journey where you feel like okay if I move if I move ahead with this I feel like it's gonna make me happy I feel like it's gonna fulfill my emotional needs and maybe even give gives me a sense of purpose or belonging and that's basically what's coming towards you, this impulse from the outside or something that you suddenly think of, um, that you think of going ahead with. You have the six of pentacles here. Six of pentacles basically means you're opening up to abundance. And that might have been something that was blocking you here, that at the moment... Because the six of pentacles is basically overcoming the five of pentacles. And that tells me you are coming out of an energy of lack. But you are now opening up to abundance, opening yourself up to receiving. And therefore overcoming lack on a material level here. Uh, which could be finances, could have to do something with business. For some of you, it's not, it's not only material it might be some sort of emotional lack and you're open open yourself up now to receive love to receive abundance in all area of life so that's a really beautiful energy because you yourself are overcoming a lack energy in the month of Mo uh, december the four of pentacles uh, in the outside um there could be a situation with your family where your family just gives you a lot of stability. I feel like somebody or something on the outside gives you a sense of belonging already, um, a sense of stability, a sense of um, family maybe, four of pentacles. Mm. At the same time, something on the outside that is happening connected to another person or a situation on the outside might mean that you that there is some sort of the energy of saving money could be here maybe someone or, or something in the outside uh, is uh, inspiring you to save some money so interesting combination on the one hand opening yourself up to abundance but then we have the energy of saving uh, on the outside which obviously the one doesn't exclude the other so that's all right um, in general, I would say somebody or something on the outside gives you a sense of stability and grounding, and that's really good. The Ten of Wands is your hopes and fears. Usually, I would say the Ten of Wands is a little bit like a more like a fear than it is a hope, though it can be a good card in terms of business. However, it's also the 
uh, the bad that comes with being successful because you have a lot of uh, burdens, responsibilities, a lot of work to do and you're going to probably be like a bit overburdened. Um, so in that sense, even though it comes with a success energy, um, I do more feel like that you are afraid of being overburdened in some shape or form, may that be emotionally, mentally or physically. So in some regards, connected to the month of December, your fear is to carry too much and to be overburdened in some shape or form. We're going to go into the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups no matter how it manifests for you personally, it's a beautiful energy to end the month. So especially when we see that emotionally when you go into the month and probably at the first half of the month, it's going to be a little bit difficult. And then having this um, princess of cups in between that leads then to the three of cups is a really, really beautiful energy as that is the energy of joy. So if you start something new, it's going to bring you a lot of joy here. So even if it's just just that, it's going to be really amazing and beautiful thinking about how you feel for a bigger part of the of the month here. Um, on the other hand, this might be an invitation, like I already said, and there could be some sort of um, reunion coming together some sort of meeting or celebration where you share beautiful moments with friends and loved ones so you're going to really move into a i would say a much more happy energy a much more fulfilled happy place than you start the month here all right gemini this is your reading for december thank you so much for watching and i'm looking forward to see you guys next time Thank you.